My name is Karis and I'm part of student leadership team. I'm a 12th grader and let's get into the scripture. Today, our scripture comes from Ecclesiastes chapter four, verses nine through 10. The word reads, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. As humans know, we are not meant to stand alone. We are meant to find a community and to congregate together. God tells us that we are to lean on one another and to always love one another. We find this through community like church, through school, through sports. We work in teams, we work in duos. God tells us to always remember that we are not alone. We have him and we have others. This month, we have been learning to rise and uplift one another. And God literally tells us that we have others to do that for us. We have others to help us rise up from where we fall. And God himself is there to extend his hand to lift his children from the depths of where they have fallen. As some of you may know, I am class of 23, meaning that my freshman year was the one that got cut short when COVID came through. When it got cut short, I was in the process of making friends and finding myself in high school and finding the group that I kind of wanted to be into. However, because of the unexpected circumstances, that just wasn't possible. And so going into COVID, I was lonely. I didn't feel like I was supported. I was slowly distancing myself from my family. I just, overall, I had no one to lean on. I didn't even have God to lean on. I was struggling with my religion back then and I really did not think that I could go to him. But going back into my junior year, I felt that it was time to put myself out there. I knew that I was not meant to be alone in my journey of high school, college, or even further. So I met people and I attached myself to people who I knew would be good for me and who have continuously been good for me. I have had people who have seen me cry, who have seen me struggle, and they have been there to hold me up to be the legs that I could not, could not keep myself up on. I've also reconnected with God, who has become a friend of mine. I've prayed to him in my own way, starting a conversation. You know, I've found myself. I've learned to love myself. I've learned to love others. And that's only been because I've had a support system. God has shown me a path that is not one that I walk alone on, but one where I link my arms with somebody else and walk with them. I've learned that God has been somebody who's been there for me my entire life, even if I didn't always recognize it. He's always given me something or someone in my life who I never would have looked at and said, they're my rock. He's always been there for me to be a pillar in my life and something that does not bleed. When I was getting back into my prayer life, I didn't know how to start. I felt pressured by my friends and family to pray a certain way and I knew that wasn't the right connection between me and my God because I needed to find my personal connection and so I started talking to him. I didn't need to necessarily pray strictly before eating or before going to bed but I just talked to him throughout the day. God, please help me with this crisis. God, I don't really feel like doing my homework today. Please give me the motivation to do it and he answered. He gave me the energy and the motivation and the strength to find my own self in that alone time. God has lifted me up from my sadness and from my pain. Of course, there are still days that are hard, but he's lifted me up to a point where I can reach out to him now and say, God, I think I need help today. I think I need someone to talk to today. He has given me an outlet, which I did not have before. And he's shown me that through him, I'm able to be the best version of myself and enjoy my time on this earth. Remember, if you're ever feeling down or feeling like you don't have anyone to go to, go to God. Allow him to connect you to others or to someone who can help you, or in general, have a conversation with him. He is there to guide you and to support you. Thanks for watching everyone. I can't wait to see you back for another spiritual snack next week.